Hello there. You join me here in the Undercity for episode 33, which ought to be the last official episode of uh, Baldur's Gate going mostly solo in the wonderful enhanced edition of the game um, by Beat Dog. Um, I say should be the last video because I, I, as while this might be the end of the story, um, I may do a few special features, um, kind of just to kind of highlight a few really cool encounters that that we didn't didn't um, really want to go through um, with a solo character because it's just too difficult and frustrating and all the rest of it. So. This is the final area, which you can see is pristine, and we're going to quickly explore it um, before we head into the Temple of Baal, With ease. and uh, hopefully knock off Saravok, and uh, prevent him from taking Saravok's, Saravok's? Baal's place within the Pantheon of Gods as the new God of Murder. So this is the city underneath Baldur's Gate. Um, there's probably something in the law somewhere that would explain um, the nature of, of, of this city, but uh, uh, I, I don't know too much about it. But in, there's there's loads of uh, ruins down here, um, loads of undead, which I will try and ignore. And try and stay out of the way of why are you following me? Can you piss off? This has a little patrol route. So I'll I'll just sweep round the uh, edges of the little under city. I suppose it's some kind of island. That's the t that's the temple of Baal. Um, you can see the uh, s menacing spikes on the top. Tell you that this is not a uh, terribly. Uh, uh, welcoming place to go. Um, so here we are at the other edge, and round about here, there is um, that uh, set of armor I I I mentioned. Uh, there's a little ghoul. We're not going to try and avoid. Um, aggroing people as as much as possible. I just want to, sh you know, just kind of give you the extent of, of, of the island and if you if you must, um, you know, scum some more experience points, there there are quite a few little um, encounters with undead that aren't really that challenging if you've got plenty of fireballs. Uh, you know, just be wary of things like ghasts, which will cast... Um, hold person and you know, just try and knock your block off. Um, excuse me, I'm going to sneeze. <coughs> Do pardon me. Ah, right, so yeah, we've still got a little little way to go. But other than the um, the groups of undead, there, there, there are only really um, two encounters outside um, of the temple itself that are really worthy of note. Um, if you remember we bumped into um, one of the Iron Throne leaders from Sembia in the Iron Throne building. Um, she has come back with some friends and she wants to sort out Sarabok. Um, but if you talk to her she will try and sort you out and your party first for you know just disrupting uh, their uh, operations. Um, it's not such a bad encounter. Um, there. Oh no, that's more. Oh, yeah. uh, so they're they're on. They're about here. Um, just be careful if you need to run away. Don't aggro the skeletons. 
Um, yeah, it would just make your life a, a little bit more difficult. Um, but if you have the uh, the necklace of missiles like I do, run away, run away. It's not the time to fail. Hide in shadows, rolls. Come on. Yeah, just be careful about where where you run to. The I thought you were a level ten thief. If you can't hide underground, then anyway. So it's it's not really worth looking into all the nooks and crannies. Um, it's only this little um, section here which I will work my way back round to um, that has anything in it that you might find useful at this point. So, uh -huh. just avoid the skeleton archer. And, oh, uh, the ghoul is on the move. So it looks like they have uh, some patrol routes. Uh, okay, so in this little ruined, I presume it's some kind of temple. I'll just take, you have to wander up the stairs. There is a ghast in here. Uh, I could try and backstab him. Now, from the icon, it looks like uh, another one of those Falaran's plate plus ones. On the wiki, it says it's the same kind of armor that um, Duke Altan has. Unfortunately, with uh, this character, I can't actually ID it, and my my law skill isn't isn't high enough, so I can't use it. It's plate mail, so I'm I'm not going to aggro the uh, the ghast for once. So, in front of the temple, if you spoke to her in Baldur's Gate, you should find Tomoko. Uh, and she doesn't appear to be there, which is interesting. Hmm. That is odd, because... When, when, I, when I actually practiced all the tactics for this, she was most certainly there. Um, oh well we'll, well, we'll deal with that in, in a second. Because we have this group from Sambia to... Um, well, we, 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 we're going to sort them out a, uh, a bit. So, yeah, if, if, you, if you come in the front way... They will waylay you and um, yeah, try and sort out your party. And they 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 have a, a good mix of skills. So the Shaldrissa, the one you talk to in um, the Iron Throne building in Bolas Gate, a good mage. This young lady over here is a cleric. And we got a couple of fighters, and we have Gorf is an ogre. Um, so you can just basically try and take them by surprise is is probably a good start. Um, they mostly got plus one gear. Um, the, the amount of usefulness it, it will present to you at this stage in the game is probably minimal. Um, but it is a, a very XP rich encounter and if you have a few archers some with arrows of dispelling to you know keep the spellcasters occupied and then um, a few splody arrows beware um, the uh, the guys with the bows here also have um, the arrows of detonation as well so it's a good idea to be slightly fire resistant. So, you know, you don't take too much damage. So you could go in for a backstab. Um, but because there's a little scripted en en encounter here, it 
it's a little bit like the one with the two assassins. Um, you're likely to critical miss the backstab and and just just have the um just have 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 the script and the dialogue kicked off, and then you're at an immediate disadvantage. So, if we can make sure we start with the guaranteed hit. Um, quite a good strategy here is to, after you chucked in the initial fireball, use your nymph's cloak to try and charm the druid here, um, and she can use some of her um, her lovely spells to you know, help sow some chaos. So, hmm, I probably should have quick saved before initiating that combat. Oh, I can still do it, because the action is queued. Uh, so, with a bit of good fortune, um, we ought to be alright, but yeah, we'll see, won't we? Uh-huh. Yeah, he's a vile man. Blah, 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 blah. Yeah. Well... Mage, good idea. Oh, come on. That's why you'd want to... Um... It, yeah, it would be nice if he didn't live up to his name all the time. Uh, no, because that, that'll mean I actually run straight into the... So I'm going to fireball her, because she's relatively fragile. So, there go the arrows of detonation. I said they had them. Oh. Oh, that went well. does help if you don't miss with your initial arrow. Uh, 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 right. So a little bit more preparation before we kick off the combat. Because, oh dear. Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> I'm I'm almost tempted to restart this video, but never mind. My God, he's useless, isn't he? Okay. Not a problem. Third time lucky. I mean, this this bodes really well for you know actually going in and and doing arguably the toughest encounter in the game. But uh, we haven't actually um, put up all of our buffs yet. So as you can see, I brought all of the scrolls, and I, and I really should um uh -huh, actually i want the order you do things actually is important with the buffs so um mm -mm -mm, i'm gonna oh, put the protection from magic up um because oh because if you have the haste up first it can do that and dispel things. <sighs> okay then, back to the inventory. And uh, we we yeah, so that that just got rid of the potion of defense, which I, I'm not entirely convinced was doing us a huge amount of good anyway. But now we we almost look like we're a mage. 
we get we get the sexy globe of invulnerability. Um, so yes, I want that on myself. Incidentally, speaking of scrolls, um, I did mention that I thought there were only two scrolls of protection from petrification in the game. As it happens, I was wrong. There is a third one uh, that you can get from the merchant who's upstairs in um, the Elf Song Tavern. So, if you want to tackle the um, the basilisks on the roof of Durlag's Tower, that is um, the place to go. Right, I also want one of those, and I also want one of those, and I think that will probably be a sufficiently buffed. Certainly for this next encounter. And when we get inside... So, by the end of this, I won't be quite fully fire resistant and magic resistant, but I, I will be fairly close and the potion of clarity is a very good idea. The only thing that you can't really do is um, pot up the potion of free action because that will um, annihilate your double your double haste okay now we are if we can hit the side of a barn door ready to rumble come on I swear, he only does this because he knows he's being filmed. Alright. Oh, for God's goodness sake. Actually, you can prevent that from happening if you, I think, if you switch um, weapons on the... in the inventory rather than through the quick bar. Right. So, stick a nice arrow right there, and just, you can spam them to death with, with these, and do the whole dispel thing if you need to, and do the whole Sir Robin thing if you need to. Yeah, ba ba ba. And let's pop one there. So, I didn't take nearly so much damage that time. Uh -huh. And got lots of casting failures, which is precisely what we want to see. Right, so that's the, uh, the cleric down. And we'll take the mage next, because we can always let another couple of arrows come in and then run away to heal. Right. Now seems like a good time to run away, doesn't it? So, 2000 experience... 1200. They're, they're, as I said, this, this is XP rich. And yeah, you if you were feeling fancy, you could try and hide and do a backstab and yeah, all the rest of it. But uh, uh huh. All right, we'll have to come back to do the potion. We just do our lovely little quick step. Hopefully, not run into the Tomoka. Good, she's still not there, which is fascinating. Right, bit more health because we have all the potions, and 
big an hour of explosion on him. Okay, I want to keep a few of those. Another quick step. We'll be doing a lot of this in the Temple of Baal, incidentally. Come on. Oh my word. It's a big huge fecking ogre. Can you can you not can you not? Because I want to get rid of him before we go back and take the other guys. Of course he made his save. Because why wouldn't he? Alright, I need to be careful and keep an eye on the number of bitey arrows I'm using, because if I if the stack runs out, he'll just go straight to melee weapons. As we discovered. Harrison! <sighs> he really doesn't want to die, does he? You know what? To hell with it. We're not, we're not taking prisoners, and we are not shooting explosive arrows at somebody that close, because you just couldn't be bothered to... The good thing about have the double speed is that you can actually outrun the fireball, which is absolutely brilliant. I do like that. Come on, kill him. So he's got a little bit of health. Yeah, no, that that's that's all rubbish. I I'm not interested in that. Well, we still have 53 explosive arrows left, and if if we can't, oh, make that 52. I, 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 I just wanted to hide. And failed, obviously. Thanks for that. I would like to spring another little ambush on the uh, stragglers down here. Near death. Let's make him a little bit nearer death. You know, actual death would be good. Uh, one more for luck, and then I'll save the other 50. Uh, so, those are bitey, and that's nice. So there are a couple of longsword plus ones, a couple of rings plus one, a few gems, those are arrows of piercing, arrows plus one, and they... Yeah, they've, they've used all of their explosive arrows by now. Uh, this is just a traveller's cloak, I think. So, and not terribly interesting. Okay, bitey arrows can go in there. We will never get through all of these, you understand. Hopefully. So, nice ring. Another nice ring. And a sword plus one, which I don't need at all, but I'll just keep it there. Yeah. Because why not? Uh, um, Right. Let's grab all of the uh, healing potions. And we'll grab these as well, because you never know, do you? And I want these. And I might as well bring those out as well. Because they, they they heal us that little bit faster, so. So we will 
come back to um, full hit points. Now we still have our uh, nice little spell-like abilities mm -hmm. in reserve. Does one at a time, doesn't it? <laughs> it will be done. Right. Um, and just to make sure I don't run out of my protections. Now, I'm not going to use the magic blocking um, because it, it will get rid of some of my um, my bonuses here. Uh, I can't remember. Okay, did I? All right. Yeah, so I just want to redo, redo all of my resistances. I... I not a hundred percent certain if they stack. But here we are. Here is the the end of the journey. Well in Baldur's Gate one at any rate. So I have my healing potions ready. I have my Ex potions, of ex potions of explosions, uh, potions of fire breath, and we are going to start with our um, arrows of dispelling equipped. Uh, oh, that potion of defense might have uh, given me a little bit of a bonus. So. In we go. And there are Semjai, who is a spellcaster. Pure um, mage, I think. Angelo, who's kind of a fighter mage. Uh, we have our old friend Tazok, who is um, an Ogre done. fighter and um, our lovely friend Sarabok and they're all standing here um, you may notice around the room there are these little figures here you don't want to get too close to them if at all possible, because they will spawn um, a battle horror or a doom guard or something equally undead and horrible. And um, yeah, they're 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 trouble. Um, they are vulnerable to the uh, explodey arrows, um, but the the trick with this fight is to never let Sarabok get within melee distance because if he does you're dead there is there there's, there's just no other way to say it um there are also traps all over the seal of Baal and in between these um statues as well you can disarm them but they periodically rearm so <clears throat> over here are like six potential um, battle horrors that you can run into. So avoid this area of the 
of the temple. So I I I will be doing the kind of like a the yo-yo method um, and the old Benny Hill act, just trying to stay on the move and gradually wearing down Saravox hit points because he has about twice as many as I do. And this will take some time. <laughs> um, so what the first thing you need to do is, is, to, is dispel the haste that he, he has on. And if you don't do that within the first couple of arrows, you might as well reload um, because it's probably not going to end well. Um, and while you're kind of on the move, you can chuck the potions of explosions at the uh, his his three lieutenants and use the fire breath on 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 Saravok because as you can see it does a boot full of damage. Um, so we will try and hide and sneak a bit you closer. No yeah. other could have lived to oppose me in person. Of course, it will not matter in the end. Ultimately, I will prevail, and a new era will be born unto the realms. Fisticuffs are inevitable. Um, there's no other way that you can resolve this. It, either he dies or you die. So. Face me! The new Lord of Murder. Okay, so you only need to kill Sarabok. Okay, anyone else is a bonus. Um, it does make your life easier it, a little bit if you get rid of the spellcasters, um, but most of your attention needs to be on him. Um, and as I said, if if you if he goes on brand and critical misses with his first couple of dispel arrows on him, it's going to be um, time to step through the quantum foam, hopefully to one of the infinite number of parallel worlds where eventually we're bound to find one where Harrison isn't a complete, utter useless muppet. So... To quote our good friend um, from Jurassic Park, Mr. Arnold, hold on to your butts. Ooh, that is a bonus. With the first arrow, we a we actually managed to do a dispel. Uh, uh, hmm. Yeah, he. I, I. I don't know if it's immune to the poison. Now I've got the dispel on him. Let's. Let's see. Oh, we made his save because why the hell wouldn't he? So here's one of those um, nasty little um, mages. If you have the target of opportunity, you might as well stick a arrow dispelling on him. He will recast his protections. Wow, that doesn't happen very often. I will dispel Angelo as well, if I can, before um, we notice where Saravok is. Come on. Whoa! And away we go. So there's nothing I can do about the magic missiles. Um, so Tazot will be around here somewhere. But you really just need to keep running around like a loon. Uh, <laughs> Right, excellent. So that little um, fire breath disrupted his spell and we need to get out of here now. Why did you go that way, you muppet? Ooh. 
What the hell was that? Who cast that? Hmm, that's interesting. Alright, the old sidestep routine. So you can just keep running up and down here. I'm going to lay a potion on him. Oh, Angelo is in big trouble. Oh, he has arrows of detonation. That's what it is. He killed the bat. Oh, he's dimension dooring out the way. This calls for a fireball about there. Right, excellent. One down. And I can steal those and use them. Look at the amount of experience you get from Angelo. Good grief. Uh, right. So don't get too close to those. We, I think the best thing I can do right now is actually pop a healing potion. And give a little slice there. Because he is a lumbering monstrosity. And actually, now is a good time to use those as well. Uh, can we get a biting arrow in? And I'm not going to make the mistake I made up testing the tactics by backing further down into here and spawning the Dean Guard. Right, see if you can get an arrow in on him. Nope. Meow. <laughs> right, will you shut up? Spell ineffective. It's worth bearing in mind that drinking a potion is one of the fastest actions in the game. Um, so I'm going to use some Dragon Breath on our old mate Sarabok and just try and stay out of his way. No, nope. come here. Mm -hmm. Good luck with that, Tazot. Come on. No. Meow. Where's... Oh, have we spotted Tazok or... It's still him. It's still him. Ah, uh, no, 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 no. Okay. Have a little potion of fireball. I did actually get the lightning to kill Tazok on one of the rebounds when I, when I tried this last time. So um, Angelo has the uh, long bow plus one and this wand of lightning, I think it is. So... Alright, let's get that heal in. Ooh! Wowzers! That was close. Can I get this in? Oh. Uh, he wants one of these. Come on, get it in. Yeah, so. <laughs> it's going to take some time.
So, target opportunity. Come on. Ooh. It's just as well I got my magic resistance up. He's, he's, I can't remember how many of those he has. Right, if I can get an arrow of explosion in before Saravok tries to whack me, that'll be good. Yeah, you're in a bit of trouble now, aren't you? Oh, sh shit. It's alright, when, 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 I, when I did this last time, I actually spawned two Doom Guards and um, ended up killing both of them and all of the... Ooh, this, this, that looks pretty good, doesn't it? Let's do a quick dodge. Oh, he, he, he took a little bit of damage. <sighs> Alright, don't go too far over there and spawn another one. That would not be a good idea. Oh, for goodness sake. You. Tazok is still in here as well somewhere. He he's so yeah, there you are. There's one of the traps. Right, well at least now that since I've spawned that What is it? Battle horror. Little fucker. So once you wear down his resistance. Uh, which way? This way. Da, 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 da. So, <laughs> so it is actually possible to, for this battle to take so long. You, yeah, it has. It... Okay, I or it might have been dispelled, and I I just didn't notice. But I've still got my magic protection up, and one of my um, I'll drink that. I can't identify them. I, I, I've only got through about 10 or so, so we're all right. Right, give me... Yeah, you can... I want to take care of the battle horror first if I can. Uh, come on. Oh, why does it, you're supposed to have two attacks per round? Okay. Um. Mm -hmm. All right. I want another one of them. Because no point in having it otherwise. Come on, die, you motherfucker! Ah, one more. Okay, that gives us one less to worry about. And I think we've got the battle horror as well. Not that I can see. So hopefully now it's just a, a matter of time. And how many more battle horrors we... Uh, Aggro. Right. Uh, I don't know what's happened to uh, Tazok. Maybe, maybe he got killed in the collateral damage. It probably is probably. Ah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Don't don't forget, Ian. You have these guys. Even though I've still got, still got 63 hit points left, I am, I am not, I'm not waiting around. If he get, he, if he gets in melee range, Harrison, you sleep on the job again.
This is supposed to be a fast action. No, what the? See, that wasn't what I clicked, was it? Dear, oh dear. Let the traitors come to you. I mean, it's still only taking like one damage. We will wear through a bit eventually. No, what? What the hell is that supposed to be? You don't need to be that close. <sighs> no. Let's let's try some of these. Well, deaths for everyone is inevitable. That, that if that if that's meant to be profound. Yeah, it's going to be your blood, though. If I have anything to say about it. Harrison, stop being shit. Okay, so the save does kind of... Oh, where, where is he? he well, he, well, Tazak is certainly not dead. But, what the? Oh! This calls for exploding arrows, doesn't it? Oh, he, he took a, a whole three damage! And that was from the um, actual projectile, not the... of explosions please I mean their saves must be ridiculous so oh he's has another potion of speed that's all right mine mine's still up okay. I will feel a little bit safer With another few hit points in the bag. And now we can try and sort Sarabok out without any distractions. Jesus. Is, is it just me or is, is the game just rampantly cheating? and not doing what I'm asking it to do. Come on, biting arrows, don't fail me now. This, as you may have noticed by now, is a safe channel <laughs> to get <laughs> to get distance. And if I actually just move into the middle here. And you just have to keep going with the arrows. Come on, you dumb bastard. OK, 
Okay, he's on his last hit bar now. Which is probably about... 50 uh, health points. Oh no, that's not going to work, is it? Stop that. Oh, we did still get him for one damage. So any time you could not make a save would be good. Would be nice to, uh, you know, finish this video off before, you know, it gets dark. Yeah. I have other things I want to do this afternoon. Oh. Ah, that, that is maybe the one disadvantage of using that, in that you don't actually have a very good line of sight, so he can kind of sneak up on you a bit. Come on. Come to Papa. Your death's inevitable. Even if it's one arrow and one bloody hit point at a time, mate. I'm going to have to turn that auto pause on. Yeah, don't aggro the battle horrors. I'm doing more damage to the bat. Okay. Yes, he has a... What we call in the business a metric fuckton of hit points. Come on. Die already. I know what you're thinking. Ian, finish him off with melee. No. Wow. So, sorry if this is not the, you know, the most exciting. Um... <laughs> ah! Ah! He's dead! He's dead! Hooray! <sighs> All's well that ends well. And here we have the victory cutscene. And Harrison, the absolutely useless thief, has managed to become the saviour of Baldur's Gate. How remarkable. So if you've stuck with me for all 33 episodes, thank you very much indeed. And hope you um, enjoy the... Uh, the final cutscene. And um, will join me for some of the special features where I will show us some of the areas, um, probably with another character and a party this time, um, that we didn't visit. Um, and actually, may maybe uh, take a look at some of the um, companion quests because obviously playing solo the only one that we really did was Safanas but there we are the the final victory of Harrison Svartbane So, one down, only another goodness knows how many bar spawn to go.
so there we are that is it thank you very much indeed for watching hope to see you on further adventures in time space and the realms sometime soon ta-ta for now <laughs>